One of the cool features about the CS580 radio is what's called the enhanced scan. In enhanced scan, you have a start frequency, an end frequency, and a channel spacing that you program into the radio using the CPS software. Once that's done, you can assign the enhanced scan mode to one of the side buttons, again using the CPS, and when that's activated, it will scan from the lower to the upper frequency at the channel spacing that you programmed in, and when it finds an active signal within that frequency range, it will stop and allow you to press the lock button on the front panel and save that channel information in the radio's working memory. You can subsequently use the radio to communicate on that channel. So watch this next video and it'll show you how to set it up and get you going. So right now what we're going to do is the uh, radio, we're going to put it in the enhanced scanning mode. The radio is going to be set up like I showed in the previous part of the video where it starts at 441 megahertz and, or I'm sorry, 440 megahertz and goes up to, uh, what I say, 443 megahertz. But you'll be able to see that when I key up the other radio that when it hits the, the assigned frequency, it's going to start uh, listening to that. So here we go. I'm going to put in the hat scan mode. It's a long press on the lower button. Scanning on. Okay, and you can see as it as it's scanning the frequency as it, that it's listening. I'll wait till it gets closer to uh, 441. N6 AFV testing one two three four five. And you'll notice I was on TAC 310, and that's what it showed was TAC 310. Now, once you release the transmit key, uh, it will continue to scan up through the range and then it will start over. So we'll let it go ahead and make a loop around because the next time around I'm going to hit the lock button. Okay, N6 AFV, testing one, two, three, four, five, 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 five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Okay, so now you'll notice that it stayed on that frequency, talk group, time slot, and color code. So that's the really nice thing about the enhanced scanning is it does make it easier to find uh, any repeater within that any repeater within that that frequency range and be able to lock it in and it like I say uh, if you if you limit your scan range to where you know you're going to get a you're reasonably certain the repeater is there's a better chance of getting it. The downside is that you have to have a computer to set up the scan range and you also have to make sure that you assign a button to that so you can activate it. Um, but that's how the enhanced scan works and it's a very nice feature in this radio. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button and if you'd like to get updates whenever new videos are posted, please subscribe to the channel and whenever I pop something new on there, you'll get an email that tells you that it's available to watch. 73 from Dave, N6AFB.